This is a short introductory moving into uh, movie into using uh, the STC Platinum data through the new LSEC workspace database. Um, through the libguide finding data you can find links to go to the uh, LSEC workspace database. Uh, if you're looking to use STC data, I usually recommend using the website version uh, of LSEC workspace first. Else STC data is available over there. Uh, only there are limits, but it's a good fact-finding tool. Once you know what kind of data you want, what type of search, what type of variables you need, and you find out what is available, then you go to the full STC version in the Excel interface, the Excel add-in, and then you create your, recreate your search and create your data download. So let's start with the LSEC workspace website. We'll probably need to log in. Yep, there we go. Let's do that. And once we're there, we go to a specific app that's available. At the top of your screen, you see a search bar, so you can immediately look for the screener app that's where we can find the STC data uh, easily available for lists of uh, deals you can create those over there there's multiple ways to get to the STC data but this is one of them uh, so basically we select what we want we want deals m a deals you see here we have different types of stuff which you can recognize if you're familiar with STC let's stick with the m a data for our search, we can make a selection based on filters over here. We can also search for specific filters. So let's go for uh, the nation headquarters. We want, for instance, the acquirer to be in the Netherlands. So let's say we want M&A deals where the acquirer is in the Netherlands. Oh, we did the wrong thing. Let's try that again. Acquirer. You can, I needed to mark the option. So, there we go, done. It'll probably state uh, that we have uh, too many deals because uh, there's a limit on this screen of 15,000, which is fine. Uh, you get an idea of how many deals there are by seeing the uh, number on the left side. We have too much, uh, the list only goes uh, to 15,000, which is fine. We can uh, limit, for instance, uh, we only want a certain uh, range, let's say uh, we want it for year to date, then we need to wait a little bit until we get there. Let's see how many we get. Not that many, uh, but this is just an example. So you can use options over here to search for stuff. If you want to search on a specific uh, variable, you can just type in the name of that variable over here and you have options you can select. Similar options are available in STC. What you can do here, uh, once it populates uh, a screen, you can add columns, add variables and therefore check if a certain variable is available. For instance, if you're looking to find out if um, uh, the deal involve blank check companies you can check if there's a variable that indicates that so just click on that and it'll add that variable to uh, the list let's show it on our screen if we go to the right you see here and apparently none of these deals were uh, where the, where the acquirer was a blank check company so this is where you check for variables and uh, check and see if you can find enough companies uh, for your select to make your selection. Once you've done that, uh, it's basically better to go to SDC uh, through the Excel edit. So that's what we're going to do now. Um, basically, we sign out here. You don't need to do it, but uh, I'll do that anyway. And well, let's start up Excel. And we go for the SDC data in workspace. Let's see if we can immediately sign in or whether we need to give our credentials again. Yep, we need to give our credentials again. 
it might see that we've already logged into the website, but that's fine. Uh, just do it like that. Oops. Sign in. Right, so now we're signed in. Um, the deal data for SEC is basically available under the deals. There's a specific Excel add-in for that. So let's go to SEC Platinum. It'll show a new screen, and this is where we do all the deal data and other options. We start a new session. You could choose uh, a specific selection of what you want to do. In this case, we're looking for M&A, so we select a tab for M&A. Uh, this is basically the old SEC in the new jacket, uh, but that's fine. So when we selected what we wanted, M&A, we click on Next, and uh, we get to the search screen. What we see here is uh, all the variables that, we, that you can search on. You can type in the name of a variable, it'll filter the result. There's also tabs where you can quickly navigate and see if some of the variables are in one of the tabs, so you can quickly go there. Let's say, uh, again, we want uh, the acquirer, so we can uh, basically uh, uh, go for acquirer. So we uh, type in acquirer nation. Once you've selected it, you'll get a new pop-up over here, and there you can type in for instance, Netherlands, um, to recreate the search we did with the screener. So we select uh, Netherlands again, and we might have some other options you can use. And when we're done, we click on Add, and a new line appears at the top. Uh, so basically, uh, you narrow down with your search. For instance, we want deals, uh, deal status. Oops. Uh, Sorry about that. Deal status. Um, we only want, for instance, completed deals. Let's say that's what we want. Unconditional is usually uh, a UK option. Done. And when we're done, we click on Add. Um, now we want only recent deals, so we can add, change that option over here with the Edit button on the left, uh, right side. And it pops up here, and then you can uh, basically say, okay, I want a certain date range, or specifically, you can click on that, quickly scroll to where you want to go, and let's say we want deals from January 2015 until now, save. Now we want to see how many deals we get, so we can click on the right top right corner on Execute, which is basically all the same options you've uh, might know from the old SEC and it'll start creating the search you see here uh, in the column results you see how many deals there are you might have to narrow down again uh, let's say we only want deals for a certain industry and we can use SDC industry or we can specifically search for a certain type of industry like uh, the primary uh, industry. You see the abbreviations appear here. So we click on primary industry and what we want is basically, let's say we want um, construction firms. Done. Uh, there's a pop-up. Uh, no, we don't want to save lists. Uh, in this case, you can also select uh, construction firms. Um, only the acquirer needs to be in the, that industry. Or if you want to see other options, you can mark these. Click on Done. And then you add that option. And you see here, Acquirer, Primary SIG, Construction. Let's rerun the search. Click on Execute and it narrows down further our search until we get uh, a small manageable uh, number of deals. Uh, we didn't sp specify the type of deal, so you might need to add more variables to be sure you have the right type of acquisitions. For instance, this one has re repurchases and other stuff. 
Once you're happy with the search result, you go to the output option at the top and uh, we basically uh, create our own custom report just like in the old SDC. Uh, and then you select all the variables you want to see uh, in uh, the, the report. So usually I take some basic stuff like SDC, deal number, I want uh, names, I want the name of the acquirer, the full name, let's add that. I want the target, uh, you can also have the parents, sellers, etc, etc. Uh, let's add some dates. Uh, date is announced when the deal was announced. Date effective when the deal was finished. And we might want uh, deal value, for instance. Uh, let's say we want to know uh, what the value of the deal was. And we want other stuff like maybe uh, identification codes to be able to match stuff with other. Uh, databases, uh, for instance ESG data or uh, financial type data. Uh, you can search for a number of variables and not everything is there. Acquire is an option. Um, so let's add that. Um, let's go for uh, data stream, which is also a code you can use, the DS code. There's sometimes multiple versions. Uh, you can choose which one you want. I want them for the acquirer, done, that, and yeah, let's say we want um, ticker codes, is also an option, and acquire primary ticker is a good one, and we might go for QCIP, the final one that's available over here. So you might go for this, uh, only the six digit one is available unfortunately. When you're done with the report, uh, you can generate it. Remember, you can save session options over here. You can also save your report uh, with the save button. In that case, you can reload it again later. Uh, let's see how the report looks. And execute. Now we have some basic data uh, on some SDC deals. Um, let's make the screen a little smaller, then I can scroll to the, uh, to the right. And well, this is basically how you generate a report. You can export to Excel if you want. And uh, I usually recommend exporting as values. Uh, this concludes the small introduction in how SDC pattern works under LSEC workspace.